Uh, hi everyone, greetings from National Skills Network, uh, popularly known as NSN. And we are continuing our dialogues and conversations with the leadership team from Tata Strive. And today we have our guest, Mr. Bhaskar Natarajan, who's the head for program execution at Tata Strive. Uh, Bhaskar manages end-to-end -end components of program execution at Tata Strive, which includes many roles. So let's understand from him not only about his role at Tata Strive, but also a very important topic that he's going to share with us today about the digital disruption in the life of vocational trainers or skill-based trainers. So Bhaskar, what do you have to tell us from your perspective and how is Tata Strive answering this uh, you know, the challenge uh, the pandemic has created to adopt digital when it comes to the trainers. Let's go ahead and listen from you. Thank you, Madhuriji. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, and uh, very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all the viewers of NSN. Uh, such a pleasure to be on this network and share my views. I have two decades of experience in this space as a uh, employability coach, uh, employability skill trainer, uh, operations person handling uh, centers and large uh, uh, programs. Also, I've uh, spent some time in corporate uh, as a consultant. I'm a certified coach. When I uh, looked at uh, taking up this role in Tata Strive, uh, what really motivated me to take up is the trainer profile. Uh, where uh, how can I bring about a huge shift in the way trainers are uh, selected, trained, groomed, and grown in this sector. So uh, as the saying goes, deprived cannot provide. When a trainer is deprived of motivation, when a trainer is deprived of any kind of uh, vision for uh, the learners in his or her classroom, it will show up very badly on the numbers uh, achieved by the organization, skill development organization. Right. So my primary focus uh, uh, has always been a twin pronged approach. One is of a mobilizer because they are the chief impression officer in the community. When they go door to door, they create an impression about a skill building or skill training organization. And after the uh, youth come into classroom, it is a trainer who makes them employable. So uh, uh, typically in my uh, train the trainer programs, I tell them uh, we are not preparing these youth for their first break or first job. Mm -hmm. We are not even uh, preparing them for a three or a five year old uh, you know, uh, long career. We are actually working on their vocational skills. What does that mean? Uh, when we go into the etymology of the word vocation, it means calling. Mm. If a learner or youth is picking up a particular course, can we make it a calling? Can we inspire them so much as a trainer in the class? Uh, we breathe life into their dream and make it a moving uh, a picture or a video uh, rather than a static, uh, you know, a two dimensional uh, photo. Uh, that's where a trainer becomes very powerful change agent. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, uh, there are many activities that we have designed within Tata Strive to make a trainer role very effective. Uh, one of them, we call it as employability coach uh, role, where mm -hmm. there is a, a youth development scorecard app based on uh, Android uh, version, where mm -hmm. the student also downloads that app, a trainer also has a copy uh, at his or her end, and there is a set of uh, you know, group coaching sessions that we do to track the progress of youth at their end. Mm -hmm. Pandemic has changed this definition a bit, uh, not entirely. Uh, however, we try to create a similar impact that we do in a classroom through uh, video uh, conversations and online uh, training programs. We have uh, recently uh, started uh, working on blended learning, uh, which puts uh, a big impetus on trainer to be more disciplined trainer to be a digital superstar, mm -hmm. uh, trainer to uh, uh, you know, take the role of a coach so that they inspire youngsters to be more disciplined at their end when they are logging in from home. At the comfort of home, uh, typically what we have seen is uh, youth, they cite data or device uh, uh, you know, problem as reasons to switch off their video. 
and maybe they are lying down on the couch and uh, listening to the conversation mm-hmm. uh, faculty is having uh, those things are the impediment for employability so mm-hmm. we train our digital superstar to be so engaging that the learners would keep their video always on throughout the session it's a 90 minute session or two hour session uh, does not feel bored uh, it's very engaging lot of stories and uh, personal uh, uh, you know uh, transformation uh, uh, areas are touched upon also uh, the kind of uh, material that we have prepared is all activity based or question based mm-hmm. uh, in in our uh, language we say inquiry based that okay. means uh, if a youth uh, has something as a prior knowledge we need to draw them out and mm-hmm. help them connect that with unknown uh, concepts or ideas mm-hmm. so for example a refrigeration air conditioning uh, uh, you know operator course uh, they may know uh, what, what is ac mm-hmm. uh, how do we bring the concept of uh, heat transfer uh, how does a compact room uh, reduce uh, temperature by switching on uh, ac those concepts we uh, make it more uh, you know interactive uh, inquiry based so youth are very much engaged for this journey madhuri ji trainer is a very important component so it's like an immersive experience you're talking about right by building on what they already know and the knowledge keeps getting enhanced yeah i fully agree with you bhaskar the role of the trainer is so important and uh, unfortunately uh, what we see in the skills ecosystem is that the role of the trainer is not being uh, you know considered the way it should be or rather the importance that needs to be attached so it would be nice to know from you how uh, you are going ahead and taking steps to do this very important uh, intervention in the life of a trainer to make it not only very valuable for them as a profession but also to make it aspirational for them to build a career because they should not be thinking that you know skill based training or learning doesn't give them a certain set of opportunities but i think from your experience we should learn more about how you're going ahead with this yeah sure uh, we have made a few changes in the way we select a trainer for our program mm-hmm. uh, they go through a series of uh, interviews they uh, complete uh, certain games on uh, mobile Uh, which will give us a better view on their competencies and future potential in the role uh, and that that we use it for their developmental purposes and learning purposes mm-hmm. uh, during the domain uh, uh, interview there is a, a component called teach back they have to record themselves on a video submit it for our uh, assessors to uh, have a look at uh, their you know training style and provide them feedback so these steps have really improved the quality of trainers we get into our program however the same cannot be said for every skill development partner in the ecosystem okay. uh, many of us many of them are uh, dictated by the funding that they get uh, mm-hmm. and uh, also uh, the requirement or local talent uh, availability in the location that they are uh, working on uh, so with all this uh, you know uh, challenges local issues faced by various skill development partners they mm-hmm. make uh, use of what they got and when we do train the trainer program or training of trainer program mm-hmm. uh, where tata strive is uh, you know shaping these trainers we keep this diversity in mind okay not all organizations uh, would be uh, able to attract uh, you know highest quality talent at the same time in not, not all locations you will have best talent available as a trainer to work in that uh, location mm-hmm. some of them are tier 2 and tier 3 uh, cities where uh, uh, very few are interested to go there right. uh, so this uh, is a universal problem in this uh, segment and second when uh, there is a lucrative attractive proposition in a corporate training environment mm-hmm. uh, people would tend to go there rather than come to skill development so with this in mind uh, we uh, had this uh, uh, program uh, uh, where a digital superstar uh, which is available on uh, uh, our uh, uh, nsdc uh, portal as well and all the uh, training uh, platforms for trainers to make uh, take advantage of it where we talk about three e's in a class first mm-hmm. is you need to engage the learner uh, second is you need to educate the learner there should be some value uh, in the session it's not a, a stand up comedian act right mm-hmm. uh, however uh, you know they need to be entertained these are the three e's 
uh, without losing the focus on the uh, content, without losing the focus on uh, the goal of the program, we should keep these three in mind, ensure that students are wanting to come back to session. Mm. So in the pre-pandemic uh, era, uh, what we did was we focused on infrastructure, yeah. uh, having a good, well-lit, uh, you know, air-flowing uh, classrooms with a lot of space to move around, uh, mm. using the space itself as a learning uh, tool with mm. chart papers and so on. We were able to uh, get them excited about skill development and a classroom environment. Mm. Uh, as you know, uh, Madhuriji, many of them are school dropouts. Many yeah. of them uh, are uh, not that successful in academic environment. So getting them or putting them through a similar uh, environment is not going to uh, be a, a easy task. Yeah. So uh, we invested a lot on infrastructure, but post pandemic, since we are doing everything on virtual, uh, we are now focusing on uh, digital infrastructure, encouraging our learners to get a top up for 500 rupees or whatever they could uh, afford, uh, you know, ensuring that they have a good quality phone. Uh, mm -hmm. They uh, log into asynchronous. There are two components in our training. One is uh, synchronous where the, uh, the masterclass happens through a video. And there is an asynchronous where students have to complete certain assignments online. They mm -hmm. may have to watch a video. They may have to enter into a community uh, chat, uh, you know, format where they interact with fellow uh, batchmates. Uh, mm -hmm. Then WhatsApp, all of these are part of the entire package. So this brings the requirement of a trainer to know digital technology really well. Mm -hmm. They need to know what kind of platform they are using for video interaction. Uh, they need to know how to track attendance, how mm -hmm. to uh, champion uh, regular attending students and ensuring that rest of them see them as role models, get inspired and continue come on the class. They also need to know how to track asynchronous completion of task. Uh, suppose uh, <clears throat> if I have uh, given an assignment yesterday, I need to know whether the student uh, or uh, my batch students have gone online and they finished their uh, assignments. So these are the uh, uh, typical uh, uh, issues that we face uh, in a uh, uh, pandemic era and a digital superstar uh, is what we are promoting. We are encouraging our trainers to be. As I said, let me summarize. One, they need to know the technology that they are using, yeah. uh, either a video platform or the LMS, learning management system the company is using. Or they need to know how to motivate the community of learners uh, by becoming a uh, you know, manager of that community. Mm. Uh, so these are uh, critical parts of a trainer these days beyond what they are supposed to know as a basic, you know, the, the domain that they are uh, in, uh, the soft skill training that they are supposed to do and all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, fine. Like, I think also it's uh, touching upon like a holistic uh, development of the trainer when you look at faculty development. Uh, you just mentioned that this is available on NSDC platform. Are you referring to eSkill India or is yes, e -Skill that's India? Yes, right. Okay, so uh, can you tell us more about how people can access this and uh, what are the ways to, you know, uh, access and also complete the program? Because this might interest many other trainers who would want to be digital superstars. Uh, you Absolutely. Know, the the name itself is very unique. Uh, <laughs> they just have to go there and type digital superstar and uh, the link uh, would be visible and available. It's okay. a free program. Uh, they can uh, enroll themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important that they understand the basics of it. Should they need more information, they can always reach out uh, to us. Uh, the contact details are there in the same uh, portal. A uh, couple of more points uh, I wanted to uh, bring about as a trainer, uh, Madhuriji. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please. So uh, I normally ask my trainers uh, in the class, uh, have you done any uh, vegetable shopping? Oh. And they give, <laughs> give me a puzzled look, you know, what is he asking? You know, mm -hmm. then, uh, then I follow up with another question. Have you, uh, uh, you know, been to a, a vegetable shop to buy tomato? Okay. Uh, so how do you select the right tomato? Mm. Do you take a sample uh, with you from home mm -hmm. or is it in your head? Mm. No, no, it is in my head. You know, I, I'm used to seeing a good tomato. Uh, I press it. I put some pressure. I, I see if there is any visual, uh, you know, uh, flaw. Is there any hole or a you know, uh, warm infestation? All that they talk about. And then I say, yeah, why can't you apply the same thing in employability skill program? Mm. Right. If I'm training somebody for a customer care executive role, the job holder 
the top 10 percentile of the job holder who is a high performer should be as a sample tomatter in my head mm. the student in my class is the sam uh, you know uh, uh, tomatter available in the uh, shop i need to see how do i shape this person better so that the top 10 percentile the gap re reduces drastically mm. and all i have is the 10 week window right uh, if it's a uh, uh, online program there is a particular duration within which uh, any institute would like to complete the program in that window i need to make this person in my class a aspirant customer care executive to that of a top 10 percentile uh, of the market mm. that's the job of a uh, trainer in uh, uh, skill development second as i mentioned earlier this is a vocational skill yeah the etymology of the word vocation uh, is uh, calling am i preparing them for a first job or uh, just 5 10 years of career or making them or inspiring them to take it up as a calling so yeah. these are the uh, you know constructs a trainer need to keep in mind and i would like to quote uh, bill o'brien uh, who uh, you know said the success of an intervention depends entirely on the interior condition of the intervener here i am looking at employability skill training as a intervention my interior condition is i need to glorify myself as a trainer i need to be a, a, a show a, a pony uh, to say in a circus uh, then uh, it won't work it's all about my youth who are sitting in the class it's not about me i may be having uh, tons of certifications from various organizations to show my prowess it doesn't matter if the youth uh, sitting in my class is not uh, you know employable and the interviewer rejects them right yeah so it is more from the learner's perspective you know and understanding them making it more learner centric as we say yes yeah yes. so these are i think some of the points and i like your analogy which you just mentioned uh, I think these things uh, drive in the point very easily also with the people, you know. So that was a very interesting example you gave. So is and there one more analogy I'll give yeah. uh, on that? Uh, uh, so in online classes, we normally observe some of the students are very shy, mm -hmm. uh, not because of anything, but their own background. You know, they, they don't feel proud of showing off their home uh, or uh, their family members don't allow them to switch on video uh, because they need to move around. It's a small space. Everyone needs to live in the same space. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they don't switch on their video at all. Mm -hmm. So the analogy I give uh, such students is there is a gym where you enroll and you have a goal of reducing your weight or you know tightening your core or building up muscles. Mm -hmm. But you go there every day diligently. You're interested, but you sit in the corner chair in that gym. After one month, do you think you'll achieve your goal? <laughs> and then they say, no, sir, no, I don't think I will. I have to uh, get off the chair, get into the floor and pick up some dumbbells and do whatever the coach is saying. Hmm. Exactly. Same thing you need to do in employability skill uh, program. You can't attend the program, keep your video off, keep your microphone off, not answering any questions hmm. or debating or participating, disagreeing with a fellow participant. Uh, or saying, no, I don't uh, understand what you're saying. Can you repeat again? Mm. That means you are sitting in the corner in that gym room. After 30 days, you will go and ask uh, Paisa Vapas because <laughs> my goals have not achieved. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, this is a challenge even I face, you know, even with my team members, I face that. Uh, most of the time, they don't show their faces. I think, yeah, like you said, there are some reasons and also they don't understand the significance of physically presenting themselves, I guess. It yes. makes a lot of impact when you see each other, at least for a few seconds or minutes, I think. We are a social animal, uh, <laughs> Madhuriji. We need yeah, we yeah. feed off each other's energy. <laughs> yeah, it helps. It really helps. Yeah, so are there other points that you wish to mention about Digital Superstars uh, as a program or anything in generic about the trainers? Uh, yeah, so uh, our approach in Digital Superstar can be summarized into three uh, words, mm -hmm. uh, mindset, yeah. skill set, mm -hmm. tool set. Okay. For all the participants who come into such a program, we help them with the right mindset. Mm. I've been talking about various analogies. These yeah. are very pertinent to, to uh, a trainer to keep in their mind. Mm. 
and always uh, uh, you know clear the space before a training program starts mm. uh, uh, get that kind of a, a frame of mind before a program uh, is live mm. the second part is on skill set uh, not all of us are experts in what we do mm. we are becoming better in whatever we are doing that means we need to sh- continuously sharpen the saw mm. we need to learn continuously so skill sets uh, how do we sharpen how do we ask for feedback mm. when we solicit feedback chances are that my behavior would change for good yeah right so uh, ask for someone to log into your class observe as a silent uh, spectator and yes. after the class is over uh, take their uh, uh, you know inputs and the last one is on the tool set learn more about uh, video uh, and audio skills how do we uh, work on those and uh, keep adding new tools in your toolkit yeah that's it from my end thank you okay thank you bhaskar uh thanks for sharing uh, you know various aspects of the program called digital superstars as well as all the wisdom and uh, you know all the ideas that you shared from your experience in uh, making the trainers more empowered and more enlightened in terms of being a digital uh, you know participant i would say in the skills ecosystem is something very valuable thanks a lot i look forward to interact with you again thanks again goodbye thank you madhurji bye bye have a good day